Hey guys, in today's video we have something different and it's something I've never used before so I'm very excited about it. It's an ink tablet by Books and you guys know me, I really like to draw and sketch all my ideas for all the projects and apps that I'm making. So the guys from Books actually saw that and they reached out to me and they said, hey, do you maybe want to try out one of our new tablets? And you know what, this was unusual enough for me so I was like, yeah, sure, send it over. And so this video is going to be in three parts. In the first part we're going to have a very relaxing unboxing. And then in the second part, as I'm taking it out of the box, doing the initial setup and everything, I'm going to give you my first impressions on the build quality, how it feels in the hands, what it feels like to write on it. And then in the third part, because I had it for a couple of days now, I'm going to tell you all about how I personally used it and the kinds of use cases that I think this device is really good for. So let's get started. First with that unboxing. So my first impression is that the screen is very crisp and clear and the device itself doesn't really bend or creak in any kind of noticeable way. So really good first impression there. It has a number of these gestures that you can configure and it goes on both sides of the screen as well as on the bottom. But I was just really excited to finish the setup and dive into the actual experience. Now, I've never seen a color ink screen before and initially I thought this was some kind of a gimmick but really it looks very nice with these pastel colors. It has a bunch of settings for adjusting them but let's just move on with the rest of the unboxing. Now this was the part that I was mostly excited about, the pen itself. It doubles as an eraser on the back and it comes with this really nice protective cover. It attaches magnetically just like on the iPad, but right now I'm just very excited to dive into the Notes app and explore all the features. So it comes with all these templates for the backgrounds and there's many of them for different kinds of use cases. Now for the writing experience itself, the pen is pressure sensitive and you can choose many different colors, adjust the thickness. So this right here is a fountain pen and it really reacts to different uh, levels of pressure. For example, I can write a really thin line and a thick line all with the same settings. And just writing on the screen feels just like paper, it's so satisfying. And for the different colors, I didn't really find a way to configure my own, but the ones they have look really nice and vibrant on the screen. So here I'm just trying to create a little drawing and I'm testing it out. But overall I was continuously being surprised by just how natural the writing felt. In a way that the pen actually moved slower across the screen, which gave me more control and confidence over my drawing. Now this tablet runs Android and these are your typical settings but I really wanted to explore the screen settings and so it has a backlight which comes really handy when you're in a dark lit room but you can also control how warm that backlight is which can come really handy if you like reading or writing in the evening so you want to take off some of the strain from your eyes. But alright let me clean up the desk a bit and we can unbox the keyboard cover. Oh, and hey, if you're enjoying this video, make sure to click the like and subscribe because it helps me a lot these days and I really appreciate it. Now the keyboard cover feels very well made and the buttons are pretty clicky but to me writing with a pen is so much more satisfying that I don't really see myself using the keyboard cover all that much.
So speaking about writing with a pen, I was most excited to try and replace what I use pen and paper for, which is draw a lot of sketches for my apps. So right here I'm actually designing a sketch for a secret project that I will share with you guys in one of the upcoming vlogs. And you know, it feels really nice. And I love how I can emphasize certain elements by just applying a little bit more pressure and getting thicker lines. Also, having multiple colors is really handy when you're trying to annotate things and add notes to your drawings, and I really like that feature. Now, one thing that I found really funny is that when you try to rename your notebook, it tells you how many bytes you have left instead of how many characters. That and the fact that it actually shows you the hex codes when you go and choose the colors for your drawings gives me that nerdy vibe about this tablet. Oh, and by the way, I actually tried gaming. And it works, I mean, you only need to pick the right games for it. Jokes aside, one thing that I was really curious about is the way the screen will work for general media consumption. And it has multiple refresh modes, and here we are on the fastest one. Even though it says that there will be ghosting and artifacts, I'm not seeing any problems, and the scrolling is more than fast enough. The other thing that I was really curious about the screen is the way it's gonna look in bright sunlight, because I heard that ink screens actually work really well in that case. And yeah, actually, that was correct. The brighter the light you have, the clearer the screen will look, and it actually looks the worst when you have your backlight on. But here, outside, it was just a dream to use. And just for fun, I wanted to compare it to the iPad. And you can see here, the iPad is on full blast, on full brightness, and you can barely even see that there is anything on the screen. And when you're outside, having the backlight on on the ink screen doesn't make any kind of difference, and you can just turn it off and save the battery. Okay, so in conclusion, what is this device good for? Well, to me, it feels more like a distraction-free creativity device. It's a lot more optimized for user input than it is for media consumption. And that gives me confidence to pick it up first thing in the morning instead of my phone or even my laptop because I know for a fact that I'm not gonna spend an hour watching YouTube while I'm supposedly having breakfast. And instead, I'm gonna focus on the things that really matter that day. So the way I'm using it at the moment is that I write all my important to-dos there, I check them off with a pen which feels super satisfying, and for the rest of the day I just write my thoughts and observations in the notebooks. Apart from that, I really enjoy sketching, for example, UI designs for my apps, or even some fun sketches like this boat right here. So if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.